All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, so welcome everyone to the Data Driven Community, um, where we meet together every month to talk about all things data. You know, we like to uh, cover exciting and informative topics that can help you and your organization become more data driven. Uh, my name is Chris Monahan. I'll be your MC today. Um, we have a great event planned for you. We'll be talking today about uh, the power of embedded analytics. So. Let's uh, go ahead and review today's agenda. So first we're gonna kick things off with just some community announcements. And then we have our featured speakers. We have Stuart Tinsley, who's the client success manager here at Zeo Matrix. And he'll be giving a presentation on the opportunities around embedded analytics and why it matters. And then I will be giving a tech talk around some embedded strategies that you can use um, within your organization to embed Tableau. And then we'll close and wrap up with a uh, Q and A. So please, save your questions for the end. Um, real quick about the meeting format. This is a webinar meeting, so please observe uh, customary Zoom webinar etiquette, right? Um, but we do want you to participate in the chat window. So make your comments and send questions for the speakers in the chat window um, below. And um, when it comes to the presentations, we'll be holding that Q&A session after the presentation. So please uh, wait till the end. Um, as far as recordings, contents, um, We'll be sending all that information out in an email after um, after our webinar today, and we'll also follow up with a short survey. If you all could participate in it, it takes just one minute. Um, that'll help us improve these events for the future. So let's talk about some of our upcoming events. We have an April um, data-driven community event coming up here on April 12th um, at noon, same time. And the presentation is going to be around jumpstarting your Tableau deployment. And that's really just how to get more out of your Tableau investment and deploy analytics at scale. Um, our featured speaker is going to be Stuart again. He'll be back. This time he'll be doing a lot of presentation, a lot of demos. You don't want to miss it. It's really interactive. Very cool. Um, and then I've gone ahead and listed our next three months of um, DDC events. And so we are planning on um, having these, we hold these every month on the second Wednesday. So just make sure that um, you, you have your calendar free during this time around lunch, and uh, we'd love to see you guys at future events. Speaking of future events, I would be remiss if I did not mention the biggest one coming up. It's uh, Tableau Conference um, 2023, and that's going to be May 9th through 11th. It's going to be in Las Vegas. If you have not been to a Tableau Conference, they're amazing. It's something where if you love data, you love visualizations, and you love Tableau, I highly recommend it. Um, for those that can attend in person, there is, of course, a virtual conference, which is amazing, too. Please just go ahead and I have a link at the bottom. Go ahead and register for the conference, whether you're going in person or remote, and definitely check it out. So with that, without further ado, uh, we're going to do a presentation here around embedded analytics, the opportunity, and I will turn it over to Stuart. All right, thank you, Chris. I see a lot of familiar names on this call. Uh, for those of, those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Stuart Tinsley. I head up client success for Zeo Matrix. I have been uh, using Tableau. This is actually a slight typo, Chris. It's coming up on nine years of Tableau experience. Yeah. At time We're flies. all getting older. Yeah. We are. <laughs> I used to work at Tableau <laughs> in the past and have been helping companies on the consulting side for four years. And embedded analytics is definitely a big passion for me. So I'm excited to talk to you about the opportunity there share some customer stories and really get into what you can do um, from an opportunity standpoint with embedded analytics. Chris, you can slide over. Awesome, so I thought it'd be good to start with a slide about what is embedded analytics, right? The, when we think about embedded analytics, it's the integration of analytics tools and capabilities within other software applications. So think about maybe a mobile banking app that you log into and you see maybe a pie chart or a line graph of data. Maybe it's telling you about your investment portfolio as a random example, right? That is data being embedded into an application. Now we'll talk today about how you can embed Tableau into portals, mobile applications, CRM systems, et cetera. But the idea is that it's the integration of analytics tools and capabilities within software applications, right? And the goal is to provide users with access to real-time insights and data-driven decision-making capabilities within the context of the applications that people use on a daily basis. Chris, you can go to the next slide. Awesome. So 
I wanted to talk a minute about who is buying embedded analytics. So one of the first scenarios are what we would consider external portals. These are companies that share data with partners and with customers, with suppliers, franchisees. And you can see some of these logos that might be familiar, companies like BMW, or Jack in the Box, Wayfair. Um, that's an example of an external portal scenario. We then have solution providers. These are companies that are integrating data with their own product or service. And then we have information providers. And these are companies that are selling insights and data as an analytics service. So these are sort of the three scenarios that we see of people that actually buy embedded analytics. Chris, you the next slide. So let's talk about why embedded analytics, right? Number one, there is a humongous value, an immense value for your business. With embedding analytics into your applications or portals or different systems, you can really do a great job of increasing engagement. You can add additional revenue streams. Let me say that one more time. You can add additional revenue streams for your, for your organization. And you can also create a competitive edge in your market, right? There's also an incredible value for your customers. So with something like Tableau, you can offer self-service analytics where they can gain actionable insights uh, by providing the rich and engaging content that we all know Tableau um, is fantastic at. Uh, and why you should think about Tableau, well, for anyone on the call that has any sort of experience with Tableau, you know that you can build dashboards in hours and not days. It's very quick to put together compelling, engaging dashboards that will create stickiness for your customers uh, that people will want to engage with. So it's a great solution uh, in terms of time to market. Um, Tableau is also easy to customize and integrate. And Chris will talk a lot about this. How can we integrate Tableau and how easy is that process? And then third, it's simply Tableau does allow you to scale flexibly and securely. There's so much baked in to the platform as a whole that give you confidence and validation that the data is protected, it's secure, and that it can scale. Chris can go to the next slide. So over the years, we've heard all of these different quotes from customers about embedding, what their, their goals and what they want to accomplish with embedding. Let's look at a few of these. So many clients talk about they want to streamline external reporting. They want to build stronger, uh, more lasting relationships with their customers and partners. And they can do that by driving, they want to do that by driving new business. Uh, by sharing value-added analytics. We hear that customers want to build custom dashboards that are readily and easily accessible to their growing customer base. We hear that they want to maintain their brand while offering self-service analytics that are integrated seamlessly into their existing application. That's a key word in that particular quote. You want embedded analytics to be seamless for the end user, very easy for them to engage and interact. And we also hear that security is really important when they're building out these dashboards for customers. They wanna make sure their data is secure. Uh, Chris, can go to the next slide. So a lot of clients ask themselves and they ask us, do we build or do we buy, right? There's some key criteria to consider, right? Building versus buying. And that is the time to market, that is scalability, that is flexibility, and your core expertise. So let's think about time to market for a minute. How quickly are you able to launch an embedded solution to your clients? That's a key criteria to consider. How flexible is it to update? How flexible um, can it scale? And then do you have core expertise to manage that solution? We also hear, um, or, or things to consider would be resource allocation. How many people does it take to uh, keep that solution up and running? Uh, what sort of maintenance updates are required? And what is the overall customer experience? And that might be the most important criteria in this list. So with a build solution, you can almost inherently expect long, longer development time. Uh, it would require more resources to maintain. 
Uh, and there's overall just more maintenance that is required with a build scenario. If you buy, explicitly buy Tableau, you're going to have a quicker time to market. You're going to have a better customer experience and you'll have less maintenance cost overall. So those are a couple of criteria to consider uh, if you're asking yourself that question. That's what we have found uh, over the years. So Chris, you can go to the last slide here. So I just wanted to end with a, a quick customer story here. This is a Tableau customer. They're called IDBS. Ultimately, they help researchers quickly spot data anomalies and outliers that lead to major scientific breakthroughs. The image that you're seeing to the right of the screen here is their Tableau dashboard and it's embedded into their portal. This is a fantastic dashboard because it's engaging, it's formatted nicely, it's seamlessly integrated into their portal. It just has a great look and feel overall, right? So they went with Tableau and, and what we found and what this customer found is that they were able to go to market in three months using Tableau, three months. They were able to launch an embedded solution to their clients. Right. They also found that these embedded analytics were able to empower R&D organizations around the world with real-time self-service analytics. And lastly, they were able to unleash the power of scientific data, which created this direct impact on all of the laboratories that used IDBS solutions. So a great customer story, quick time to market, uh, and hopefully these slides and, and what we talked about here gives you a better sense of the opportunity with embedded analytics. Chris, that is all I have and I'll pass it back to you. Awesome, well, thanks Stuart. Yeah, um, hopefully everyone, um, you know, found that, that I mean, that, that's super interesting. I think it gives everyone a better idea of what is embedded analytics and you probably provided some use cases there too of, of how people can use embedded analytics across their organizations. So if you have any questions, of course, uh, save them to the end and we'd be happy to answer them during the panel discussion. So next up, um, I'll actually be presenting. We'll be talking a tech talk here around embedded strategies using Tableau. Um, just quick introduction about myself. I'm the president of Zeo Matrix. Um, I've been doing data analytics for a long time, about 20 years. So I got a lot of experience in analytics. Um, but in a prior life, I used to do uh, web development. I used to be a web developer. So embedded analytics is near and dear to my heart. So I love it when we talk strategy around embedded um, and that, you know, and, and, and talking all the different use cases that people come up with so that I really enjoy doing that. So a little bit about our firm. We, um, we are a full service data analytics shop based here in Austin, Texas. You know, we are a Tableau Gold partner and uh, we're active in the Tableau community as well. We sponsor the Austin Tug. So we are a full service shop. We do everything from the data warehousing, ETL, but, and of course the analytics, but is embedded is really a, a great niche where we play and we, we advise a lot of organizations on large scale deployments of, of, of embedded analytics. So let's go ahead and talk to you today um, uh, about how do you craft an embedded strategy? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over all the different types of embedded use cases. This will be part presentation, part demo. I'll even show you how we do the embedding. So it, it shows you how easy and simple it is. Um, so I got a lot of different use cases we'll go through. And, and again, this is really to paint the art of the possible and give you guys an, a better idea of maybe use cases where you can weave in embedded inside your organization, either for internal or external use cases. So um, what does it mean to, to be embedded? I think you know, um, Stuart sort of gave you a couple examples, but it could be anything really. I mean, it, it could be simple web pages or inside of an application or inside of some sort of portal that you have like an intranet in your organization, right? So it really can be anything, but the ones we're going to cover today, um, there's about five of them. Um, we have what we're calling simple web pages. You know, these is a, a simple embed use case that we have. Um, there's third-party applications such as Salesforce or um, SharePoint. And then there's of course uh, hosted Tableau, which is just Tableau Cloud out of the box, which is also a great solution always. And then we'll dive a little bit deeper into some of the white labeled or more, um, I would say development heavy integrations around custom web portals and custom facing products. So let's get started. So when you're doing embedding, what are some of the considerations you need to discuss as a team? Um, 
first and foremost, you need to understand the use case. Who's your end user? Is this an internal or external use case, right? I think a lot of people tend to think that embedded is always, hey, for my external users, but we've seen it where there's a lot of internal use cases around embedded as well. Perfect example is for field reporting. If you have sales reps or someone out in the field, that's a great use case for embedded. Um, uh, you want to know, is this going to be an integration into something that exists already that you have, or is this going to be custom built, right? Do you want it to be just lightly branded or does it need to be totally white labeled? So no one knows you know, what, what's under the hood running the analytics, right? These are things you need to consider. Um, when it comes from, to, from a development timeline standpoint, cost, you of course want to determine, do you have the capabilities in-house or the expertise to do the development yourself or the integration? Or do you need to outsource that to third party and what that maintenance cost is going to be? Um, and, and, and of course, who's going to be supporting that, right? And then um, lastly, the last two bullets are, you know, is this going to be something that is on-prem within your environment or you, you, do you want to host, you know, Tableau out in the cloud? Um, and there's some security requirements that are always critical when you're talking about embedded, especially around external use cases that we will cover today as well, such as row level security. So there are sort of two approaches to embedding. One's the easier, easy way, which is a simple embed code. For those of you that have, uh, have uh, cut and paste capabilities, <laughs> you can simply just copy and uh, paste the code straight into a web page, and that HTML code will create an iframe, and then you have your dashboard, voila. Um, the second one is a little more um, involved. It requires some AP, some coding with the uh, Tableau's API, and you're pro programmatically um, integrating um, Tableau, the dashboards themselves, and how they behave and look and feel into your existing application or portal using the embedded API. Uh, the trade-offs are, are pretty obvious. One is a lot simpler to do, easier to maintain. The other one uh, does require more maintenance, but the integration is seamless, whereas the embed code is not as seamless um, as uh, maybe a white label solution would be. Um, when it comes to deciding where you'd like to host Tableau, um, there's really two options. One, you could do it in Tableau Cloud that's fully hosted by Tableau, um, and there's no maintenance required. You don't have to maintain the servers. That's all hosted by Tableau. Um, of course, if you have more data privacy concerns or some restrictions uh, maybe from your organization where you need a more controlled environment, you could use Tableau Server internally as well. Both are great options. Both are totally doable and really take the same approach. So either one is a good option. Um, so let's go over our first uh, use case here. It's around a simple, I'll call them simple web pages, right? So um, here's an example. Uh, as I mentioned, you can use the approach of using embed code, which is a simple cut and paste of the HTML tags. You can put that into your, um, your web page and um, really integrate into uh, a dashboard into your web page pretty easily and quickly. Um, here we have an example where Redfin has a publicly available Tableau dashboard. You can I'll share the link later, but they they provide analytics on their data, their real estate data to the general public using um, Tableau Embedded, and they're just simple iframe um, iframe embed codes, right? So uh, why would you want to do this? It's extremely easy to set up. There's not any coding, no development, no maintenance needed. What's some of the downside? If it's if it's not publicly facing data, uh, when you do the embed code, if there's some sort of authentication that the user needs to do, it will show a little symbol that says, please log into Tableau Cloud or Tableau Server, and then the user has to authenticate. So again, if you're wanting that white label look and feel, um, you're not going to get that with sort of the embed code. Um, if it's public facing, no one will know the difference, but if they do have to authenticate, you, you, they might not know. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this sort of looks like. Here's Redfin, um, and as I mentioned, they have all this data, beautiful dashboards actually, right here um, on their web page. And you can see here that they just grabbed the embed code. So if you hit this little share button, um, there's the embed code that you they actually cut and pasted straight into the web page. Now it's long, it's got some JavaScript in there, it's, but it's not bad. And you cut and paste it, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, we can do something similar. Um, I took a solution with, um, if you guys are familiar with Wix, it's like a free website um, uh, product out there. And they have little templates for websites. So I made a dummy website out here called High Tech. That's our company. And we want to embed a Salesforce dashboard that we'll say is just publicly available for right now. 
So what we do is um, if you see here, I created an analytics page and you can see here, we have a nice looking Salesforce dashboard. I believe Stuart maybe even created this one. Um, it's uh, integrated right here. It's pretty cool. And it shows all these different opportunities and it's integrated right into the web page. Now, how did we go about doing that? So um, without getting to the details and nuances of Wix, um, I'll show you simply how it's done by doing it real time. So um, this is the website. We'll go and navigate to the analytics page and we'll do that. Give it a second. Wix is a little bit on the slow side. You'll see here that I have a little containers and little widgets that you drag around. Here they have the, um, the HTML container. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and delete that. So let's go ahead and create it ourselves. So the way that that's, that is done is you add a new component and you wanna add the embed code. And then you go here, this is embedded HTML, right? As simple as that. And then what we wanna do is we want our dashboard to look pretty good. We know it's gonna be you know pretty wide here and we know that it's gonna look, let's go ahead and maybe say it's maybe 900 pixels tall or something like that. We'll go ahead and drop it in like that. We'll size up our dashboard. That looks pretty good. And now what we wanna do is enter the code. So what we'll do is we'll go over here to our dashboard. I've created, you know, we have these dashboards on our Tableau public site. I mean, our Tableau um, demo site, Tableau Cloud demo site. And I'll go ahead and I'll go to this share button here. And you'll see there's this copy embed code. And all you do is copy that little embed code and then you go and switch over to Wix and then you drop it in there and then you hit update. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna integrate that code right there, real time, and then you hit publish. And then now when we go back and we refresh, we'll see that our integration is there. So that's about as easy as it gets, right guys? I mean, that's how, that's how easy it is to do um, embed code. So that's a very popular one that people use if they wanna keep maintenance down. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about our next use case scenario. That's third-party uh, applications. So that's integrating into things like SharePoint and Salesforce. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple of demos around that. But first, let me sort of explain um, the situation. So if you have a SharePoint portal internally um, and you want to maybe uh, share share some dashboards maybe around, in this case, it's an executive. The use case is that there's an executive team that has access to the SharePoint portal. They wanna see some analytics around retail. Um, we've gone ahead and embedded or created a page where we embed just, um, just the retail dashboard in it. Um, the nice thing about this, it allows end users to access you know, content within a portal wiki that they already frequent, right? So part of, part of being successful embedded analytics is also trying to get that traction or adoption. So if you can put it somewhere where people are already frequently visiting, then they're gonna make more use of the analytics that you're providing, right? Again, there is no code uh, required to do this integration, right? Um, there is a little bit of, of nuance in how you do the embedding, like the, the actual tags that you put, but it's not real tricky. So no real programming again involved. The nice thing about this solution is that you can integrate Active Directory or single sign-on to keep your data secure, especially since it's maybe an internal wiki. So that's the benefit of going this approach as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So here I have, um, this is our SharePoint site, exactly like the screenshot. Um, I'll show you how we did the embed code. So I'll, I'll edit this page. And when I edit this page, you'll see the, again, there's like a little widget here. And if I hit edit on that, um, it's hard to zoom in here, but you can see that they are leveraging an iframe. And this iframe here has all the information. Um, it's just the embed code that we, we did before. Again, that embed code would be something that we grab here from our share button, right? And grab this embed code and embed it there. Um, and then we just cut and paste it in here. And then we publish and that's it. So it's about that simple to do embedding into SharePoint. And we find that this is a really cool use case. Um, now you do have to do a little bit of maintenance, obviously, if you wanna add more dashboards, um, if you're swapping out dashboards, but again, that's really quick and easy to do because it's just cut and paste. So, so that's, uh, that's integrating into SharePoint. Let's talk about integrating into Salesforce, which I know everybody here probably uses. And it's, it's a really popular use case that we have. Um, a lot of times people will be viewing either a contact or an account or some other component of Salesforce, and they want to see analytics around that. So how do you make that dynamic? And how do you make that easy to use for the end users? 
So there's something that uh, Salesforce, you know, um, owns Tableau. And so they've worked really hard to make a tight integration between the products. And so uh, Salesforce has created something called the Tableau Viz Lightning Web Component, um, which easily integrates your Tableau visualizations into Salesforce. And you can filter these dashboards based on certain Salesforce objects. So I'm going to show you one where we're we're um, filtering based on account, right? Again, the nice thing about this, it's it's not heavy coding at all. It's no code. Um, and it does allow you that security that you want by leveraging Active Directory or a single sign-on. Um, so this is a very cool use case, very popular that we see all the time. So let me go ahead and show you how this is done. First of all, this is the uh, Tableau Viz Lightning web component. Um, it's on the App Exchange here. You guys can just... Uh, do a search for it. It is free, and it does. Um, you just need to install this on your uh, on your Salesforce um, uh, site there, and then there is tons of documentation around how to use the the Lightning Web Component, and it's it's very um, straightforward. As you know, Tableau has great documentation, so it walks you step by step in how to do the uh, do the setup. Once you have it set up. Um, we're going to take something like this. This is a dashboard I built called Account Overview. And based here, you can see we got some filters and we have a customer name um, drop down menu. This customer name um, is the filter. So when we, when we click on an account tab within Salesforce, we want it to filter this dashboard just by the account that we're viewing, right? So that's the idea. Um, so here we go. We, we're jumping into Salesforce here for y'all that are as familiar with Salesforce. Here's our accounts tab, right? Um, I have three sort of uh, uh, demo accounts set up. And um, the first thing we want to do is uh, we'll go into um, go into Ace Electronics, let's say. And we want to, as you can see, we see a lot of information about the account. Uh, doesn't really give us a lot of analytics. I don't see it. I don't see any sort of dashboard or visualizations but we can quickly change that. If you go to edit page, now you'll be in edit mode here. And at the very bottom, you'll see that there is that Tableau visualization component, right? So what we'll wanna do is let's go ahead and drop this, uh, I don't know, we'll do some here. How about right under the quick quick uh, links section. And here it'll, it'll show on the right-hand menu here. It'll show you all the different, um, uh, options that you can do to configure this. So um, let me go ahead and grab some predefined stuff that I already have just to sort of speed this process up. Um, what we want to do is we want to grab our dashboard. And so we would go ahead and go over here to our account dashboard. You grab this shared, um, you know, copy the link here, right? Copy our link. We would go back into our account. Um, you can see the URL here. That's the first thing you're going to want to enter. Um, the URL you copied is not necessarily the entire URL that's here. So you can see there's some additional stuff here that says this is embedded. Um, just You want to keep those properties. So you just want to cut and paste um, the URL into there. Um, you can show the tabs or the toolbar. That's up to you. Let's go ahead and make the height 800. So that'll look nice. And then here, this is the real trick. You want to filter the Tableau view based on um, based on your, tab, uh, your Salesforce record. So in this case, we're going to, down below in the fields, we're going to say, um, what is a Tableau field on the dashboard that we will be filtering by? That's the customer name. And then additionally, what is the Salesforce field that we want to filter? And so that is going to be account name, right? So we hit save. And then we go back here. And we look. And now we have Ace Electronics. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Um, so we have just the dashboard for Ace Electronics. Go back here and go to Acme Corp, and the famous Acme Corp, right? Uh, they're not doing so good. They have a negative uh, 2.4 profit ratio, right? So um, you can see real quickly how you can integrate Tableau into Salesforce with just a few clicks. And you can do this on, on uh, any of the pages that you want and really embed analytics into Salesforce. So that's very, very powerful. Um, all right. So moving along, let's uh, let's talk about um a very uh i would say popular use case that often gets overlooked at first and that's using tableau out of the box so either tableau cloud or tableau server as your embedded solution 
Now, why would you want to do this? Now, for a lot of folks, um, you know, this is this is your default tab Tableau uh, site. Um, it's very powerful. It's got all the features built in. So there's no customization to build in navigation or how to display a dashboard. It's already built into the product and it has a very intuitive interface to use. So the advantages of using out of the box Tableau um, are several. So first of all, um, again, it, it, it's easier to implement. All you have to do is set up your security, create your dashboards and you're off to the races. Um, you can also, it can also lead to faster adoption and collaboration because a lot of folks, um, especially if you're doing it, like an in, embedded uh, external use case, a lot of your customers are already probably familiar with Tableau. So they're going to know how to use the product. Um, and they really appreciate the brand powered by Tableau. We've heard it from a lot of people that go this route that say, we actually want to make Tableau front and center. Why would we hide it? Because we want people to know that we're using the best of breed analytics. So that's really cool. I think, you know, that it obviously doesn't require any developer resources. You know, it's easy to uh, maintain and administer and support. And you can, of course, have all that security in, in, uh, that you have with Active Directory and single sign-on. So let's just take a look at uh, what that might look like. So this is what, if you go to the Explore tab in your site, you're going to notice that it has all your uh, projects at the root level. So all this navigation that you might have to build into a custom solution, you don't have to do. Obviously that saves you a lot of code. All the features that you have to build in, like alerts and commenting, all that's built into the product. So that's the that's the reason why a lot of a lot of people we see go this route because they just want to leverage the product. And the nice thing about it is as the as new features come out, especially if you're on Tableau Cloud, you can leverage those features instantaneously as soon as they're released. Um, and that way you're always staying up to date on the latest product. So this is a very popular use case. I I would recommend everybody consider this um, as one of their options. So that's uh that's Tableau out of the box. And let's uh, let's talk on the other two. Now, the other two scenarios I'm going to walk through um, are a little bit more, um, a little more development heavy, right? Because these are more custom solutions. These are, these are, you have either a custom portal or a custom application that you want to embed your uh, Tableau analytics into, right? And so, that's going to require, uh, when we talk about the two use cases, we have the embedded use case and then uh, with the embed code. And then we also have the use case using the APIs. This will be the API approach. So it will take someone on your development team or some other third party to assist you with this integration. It's not difficult, but it is something that is a little bit more development heavy. So here's an example of one of our custom portals that, that we do. Um, again, it's a demo just to show the art of the possible. But here you can see that everything in the sort of gray space here is gonna be your Tableau dashboard. The blue banner at the top, the left-hand navigation in the black, that is gonna be um, a wrapper, right? That's gonna be your, that's gonna be the custom part of your application, your portal. And of course you can build in, uh, use the API to go ahead and talk back and forth between the dashboard and your custom wrapper. Um, the, uh, the, the reason to use something like this is because you want to customize, you completely customize the Tableau experience, right? Um, you don't want them to leave your environment. You want it to be like seamless integration. There's single sign-on. So when they sign into your portal and go, go to this tab to view the dashboards, there's no double sign-in into Tableau. It's just seamless. And this really, um, you know, using Tableau, um, APIs, you can really accelerate your development and lower your maintenance costs um, by trying instead of trying to go uh, build your own version of uh, visual analytics into your applications or portals. Just like Stuart said, of course, that's something you need to to, to weigh versus the you know, build versus buy. But we've seen that there's uh, you know about uh, thirty percent um, quicker development time going this route as well. So. That's significant. Um, and then there's some other things which we'll show in a second around web edit capabilities. Um, but this again, will require some development resources. I put a little tip in there that, you know, you do wanna strike a balance. I think, you know, uh, doing something purely custom obviously will require more maintenance. And some of that stuff can be done in Tableau. So if you have some drop down menus, things like that, rather than creating custom widgets, go ahead and just move that into the dashboard. Way easier to maintain. Little tip there. Um, 
and a little bit of advice. So let's go ahead and see what this sort of looks like. So again, we'll be sending these links out to you, but if you go to our website here at zeomatrix.com, we have some demos that are, um, that are live. And um, we have three examples. Again, these are just demos to sort of paint uh, the art of the possible. One's a franchisee portal, one's a vendor portal for your partners, another one's a broker portal for insurance agents. So let's take a look at the first one. This is the franchisee portal. Um, you'll notice down here at the bottom, we have our login screen. At the bottom, you have um, the username and passwords, just easy convenience. J Smith being the one that is a single store user. So when you log in with J Smith, you're just going to see your single store data. And if you log in with J Evans, you're going to see she's a regional manager. And so you can see multiple stores, right? So let's go ahead and just log in with uh, Jay Evans. And the password is top secret one, two, three. So go ahead and log in. And you'll see here, everything in white is going to be your Tableau dashboard. And then you're going to have the blue and the black banner. It's going to be your wrapper. Um, now this is on one of our demo servers. So it's a little bit slower there. But as you can see, we can navigate between the dashboards here on the left, right? Different views within the dashboard. Um, all this is going to be Tableau. It all, from a maintenance standpoint, you can maintain this within Tableau Desktop. Um, and so that's really where you're going to save costs. You don't have to reach out to a web team to, to programmatically create these visualizations in D3 or some other uh, API library. That can all be done within Tableau and you can leverage the speed and power of, and analytics of Tableau. So when it comes to the actual interaction with the dashboard, we have some other features up here just to demo this. This is like, you can, you know, you can go ahead and download the data um, or you can download a PDF, right? These are custom buttons that are actually using the API to talk back to the dashboard to do that. You can also filter the data, right? So if we wanna look at different stores, you can go ahead and filter the data here um, using this dropdown. Now, this, this going back to my earlier comment, that tip I said, here we're using a custom dropdown, so it's it's nice and um, it's rounded uh, edges. It looks integrated into the uh, portal. Um, it's talking back to filter the dashboard. Now, of course, if you want to maybe have easier maintenance, you can simply move this dropdown into the dashboard itself, move it into Tableau, and then you don't have to worry about this code. It's really preference and how much customization you want to do, and that's that balance that I was talking about. So. That is uh, integration into a portal. And again, this is all on our website, which we'll share the links with you after, after the webinar here. Um, the last thing I wanted to cover is, you know, customer facing products. And this is very similar. All the, all the pros and, uh, of, of why you wouldn't go this route is very similar to custom portals, you know, but a lot of folks now have uh, customer facing applications that they've built that are web-based. Um, and so here's one that Tableau actually built. They built a, uh, this is some sort of uh, interactive analytics around uh, financial data, some sort of FinServe uh, application. Um, it's a demo as well. We'll send that out to you so you can go ahead and look at it. The nice thing about this is, you know, it's clean. It's, it's integrated some uh, modern UI, UI concepts with, uh, you know, expanding filter, uh, navigation. Um, but what's really cool about this, I'll show you the web edit capabilities. Now the Again, all the all the benefits around using uh, a, or having a customer uh, custom uh, uh, custom facing application um, is that it's going to be the same as what we talked about with the, the custom portal itself. So you're going to get, you know, that great Tableau experience. Um, it's going to be white labeled, so it'll look very seamless. Um, and then we'll have that web capabilities built in. So let me go ahead and share show what that looks like. So here's a, a list of, uh, or several demos that Tableau put together. If you click on the first one here, Cumulus Bank, um, it's got a login, you simply hit login here. And you'll notice that they've done some cool stuff. Again, to just show the art of the possible, they've embedded some alerts in here. That's pretty cool. So they're using other features, not just dashboards, but building some alerts in here. And what's even cooler is like, you can drag these around. So now, if someone really has a dashboard or interface, you can think if you're thinking of an application you're building, you can have these little widgets that people can customize and build themselves. They can even go ahead and add their own um, you know, widget if they wanted to, right? So this is really cool. Um, again, and, and being creative and thinking outside the box, this is uh, sort of the art of possible you can do with the embedded API. If we go down here, um, you know, it's got the navigation. Um, we go to, uh, let's go, go to credit risk. 
we want to go ahead and display a dashboard here. Um, and once it comes up, um, of course, you can interact with the dashboard just like you would in Tableau. The nice thing about this, though, is they added some additional um, buttons at the top here, right? So download, um, but this filter, um, but this one here, this is going to work, going to be where you edit the dashboard. Oops. And uh, never failed. Got a little. Wouldn't be a demo unless I got a JavaScript error. Sorry, guys. So go ahead and hit edit here. And um, I'm on to rare. Great. Uh, let me go ahead and refresh this. Um, but what I was trying to show was some of the web edit capabilities. Um, and when you log in, you're going to see that it's going to look exactly like the uh, it's going to look like Tableau desktop, but in the web. So let's pull that up one more time. There we go. And uh, I promise it works. So uh, we'll go ahead and I'll I'll try a different one right here, and then we'll uh, share this later. But the idea is when you log in and you edit um, you edit the dashboard. You're going to see um, Tableau Desktop or, or Tableau in the web that looks very similar to Tableau Desktop, that look and feel. And all your end users are going to be very familiar with that if they're familiar with Tableau. And they'll be able to create their own dashboards and pull their own data straight from there. What we've seen that is a lot of folks have tried to do data monetization, right, from um, by adding like additional levels of offerings in their actual product. So you know, the standard uh, offering might just be viewing the dashboards, but if you want to take it up to the next level to create your own dashboard and pull that data, you would then use that web edit capability. So, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the embedded use case for uh, application. So let's go ahead and um, summarize everything for you. Um, so with embedded strategy with Tableau, you know, as I mentioned, Take the time to craft an embedded strategy. Think about all the different use cases, the scenarios, and just considerations you need to, to, to think about. Um, identify whether it's going to be internal or external. Um, talk about how much custom development you want to maintain, right? Um, uh, versus uh, have someone maybe outsource, right? Uh, do you want to be on-prem or in the cloud? Where do you want that? Where do you want Tableau to live? And then how do you want to implement your security and, and what is required from a security requirement? So that's that's everything uh, you need to know about sort of the embedded uh, analytics strategy using Tableau. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or Stuart. Here's our contact information. We're happy to answer any questions that you have. As I mentioned, we'll be sending this information out in an email um, along with the recording as well. So with that, I will open up the Q&A panel discussion. Um, I guess Stuart. Let's see, uh, do we have any any questions there? We did, we have one or two questions come in earlier. Okay, um, sure. First, I'll just go in no particular order, but how long does an embedded uh, deployment take? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it, I guess it depends on the complexity, right? Obviously, if you're going to white label um, and make it completely custom, that's gonna take longer than something uh, simple, like uh, maybe I would say as a reference or a baseline, what we showed there with our portal, you know, uh, simply a wrapper with maybe embedded dashboards, something like that can be up and running in production in a couple of weeks. We like to say that a, you know, a, a good web developer on your team um, that knows JavaScript can do the actual like proof of concept integration in about half a day to a day. Um, and then from there, they can productionize it and test it. So you can see how you can quickly roll out an embedded analytics use case in a week or so. Obviously, if you white label it, it might take, you know, maybe a month or so. Other question Good question ask. Yeah, let me look at the list here. Okay, this is a good one. Um, documentation, does Tableau have embedded specific documentation? Oh, yes, uh, another great question. Um, so I have, uh, I do have some links that I can share with uh, the community here. Um, there is a uh, playbook that Tableau has. It's called the Embedded Analytics Playbook. And it is like the, the reference for everything that you need to know about embedded analytics. So it 
lists, um, you know, the a link to the embedded API, right? So that's something like this, right? It goes into all the the methods and and calls that you can do. It talks about the REST API. It talks about using connected apps, which is a little bit beyond this webinar, but that's how you establish that trust between your application server and Tableau Cloud. Um, and then it has a bunch of great code examples. So this is where we usually tell people to start. And then from there, we schedule a follow-up call and with the developer, and then we answer any questions. And like I said, they can usually get up and running within a day on some sort of proof of concept. This flows into another question that came in, Chris, on, you know, what does it look like to embed with Tableau Cloud? Is that feasible? Uh, maybe it does make sense to talk about connected apps and why that was a challenge before, how we had to use Tableau Server historically for embedded deployments, but it's also a good question. Yeah, 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 I, um, yeah, we could talk about that. So before Tableau, um, Tableau integration, um, especially using the APIs, used to just be mainly restricted for Tableau Server. But in the past year and a half or two, um, they've, Tableau has introduced the concept of connected apps, which allows you to do that, that same integration you have on server now with Tableau Cloud. And um, I'll, I'll walk you through sort of how easy that is to set up. So the, the important takeaway here, without getting too technical, is that you want to have a trust between your portal or application and Tableau Cloud, and they need to trust each other. And so the way we go about doing that is setting up what we call a, um, a connected app. And here you can see I got a bunch of these. I've demoed these before, but let's go ahead and create a new one. So we can want to create a direct trust and you give it a name. So we'll call this a, a demo, a demo one, right? And then we can say, do we want this connected app to, um, apply to all projects in our site. So can can people, this trust be established between all projects in the site or do we wanna lock down just like one folder, right? So we'll just go ahead uh, so you can lock down like you know any folder that you want, right? In this case, we're gonna go ahead and just lock down one and then we'll go ahead and then here we can also restrict the connected app so that it just talks to our application server. We can specify a domain or all domain and then you just hit create. And then when you create this, you generate a new secret. And this is what's going to be used in your code and copied and pasted over to, um, uh, copied and pasted onto one side of your code on the application side. And then this secret will be used to then uh, talk to Tableau Cloud. And that's where that is that trust gets established. So short answer is you can definitely do this in Tableau Cloud. It's gotten way easier to do. And, and that is sort of the recommended way we've seen a lot of people use that now, especially now that Tableau Cloud has usage-based licensing it's a really popular method yeah this is it's huge at the highest level because you don't have to anymore stand up a tableau server and maintain right. that and update it you can launch yeah. tableau cloud a site in five minutes or less uh, and you can use connected apps to embed that and you're having no infrastructure to maintain and that maintenance, you're just managing the content uh, like your other cloud deployment that you might have. So it's a really big breakthrough in the Tableau world. Chris, that's all the questions yeah, I've seen. Um, yeah. All right. Well, great. Oh, well, um, again, um, I want to thank everyone for your time today. Um, you know, uh, again, if you have any question around uh, our presentation, feel free to reach out to, to myself or Stuart. And we'll definitely help you out. Oh, I see one got a little bit of an applause from someone. Thank you see very some much. Applause um, coming up. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. So <laughs> think about again. <laughs> we'll be having. Yeah, we'll be. We'll be. And you too, Stuart. We'll we'll have a. We'll be doing another um, data driven community event in uh, on April twelfth. So you guys stay tuned. Come back next month, and again, that'll be around how to jumpstart your Tableau deployment and how to get get the most out of your investment with Tableau. So don't miss that one. Stuart will be presenting. So. Again, thank you, everyone, um, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone.